Peace and blessings, everybody. Peace and blessings. How is everybody doing? Biggie here. So today's video, we will be talking about Yoni steaming. I know this video is highly requested right now. And if you know, I do have a business called Pink Botanicals. Um, and just to familiarize you with what I do is I provide Yoni Seam services for women, um, especially for women of color. As women, we, we're, we're really unaware of our bodies and I am here to educate women on how to heal and basically take care of their yummies. So it's a couple of things that I wanted to make sure that I touched on. So I'm going to be very specific without um, sharing my secrets and you know, yeah. What is Yoni steaming? Yoni obviously stands for vagina or you, uh, yeah, I guess your uterus, you know, your vagina. Yoni is basically the whole vagina. And yoni steaming is the process of detoxing the yoni, steeping over a pot of herbs, of water, and flowers. Usually the herbs are flowers, um, herbs that you use from out of the kitchen, things of that nature. Um, and this helps usually detoxify, strengthens, um, replenishes, and rejuvenates the vagina. That's what yoni steaming is. So Yoni Steaming has some extremely great benefits and I know a lot of people are always asking me like, Brittany, what, like, how is this beneficial? What, why am I Yoni Steaming? And why do you Yoni Steam? So I'll give you my personal story really quickly, really brief. So back around um, the summertime of 2015, I was, I don't, I don't want to disclose what happened, but I went through something and as a girl, I felt very disgusted with myself and I wasn't, I wasn't happy. I felt very dirty. I just didn't know what to do. I felt lost. I had went through a breakup just then. I was a freshman. This was my, so well, this was the spring semester of my freshman year in college and I just, I didn't. I just I felt nasty and I didn't know what to do and as a spiritual person already I was going to church at the time and well not necessarily I really wasn't going to church by then like by by the time I got in college I really had stopped going to church and that's because that was a personal choice I didn't I didn't want to go to church no more don't come for me so I did what I knew best and I prayed about it and I just asked God I fast I went on a 30 day fast no I went on like a 60 day fast because I fast that whole summer and I I was pescatarian I fast from sex I really didn't talk to people like that I tried to really get to know myself I went back natural because I was natural when I got in college but then I permed my hair again It was just a lot of crazy stuff. So I asked God to show me something, like give me something to make me feel better. And I found this lady and let me, she has a book called, but the book that I have is downstairs and this lady, she introduced me. It's like woman, woman, I forgot. It's by a Fua, Queen of Fua and she talks about um, altars, um, all of that. Like somebody led me to that. A lady off of YouTube that I follow led me to that. That led me to ask God, you know, like what should I do? Da, 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 da. And I just started reading the book. When I started reading the book, I found Yoni Steaming. And I was like, what, the, what is that? This seems cool. So I read up on it and then I Googled the benefits. Cause I mean, I read it in the book, but Google never hurts. So I looked on Google and I checked it out and I was like, wow, this, this seems like something that interests me. So what I did was I got my tools together. I have already, I already had um, two, two steel pots, like mixing pots. 
So I use one to boil the, um, one to like hold the mix and then one to like hold the herbs when I'm gonna um, like seep over them. And then I got, um, I use an old trash can and then <laughs> I put it in the trash can and then I um, put a towel over the trash can, like around the trash bin so it like wouldn't sting my butt. And then I had a towel, not a towel, but like a blanket that I used. And I wrapped the blanket around my waist. And I steeped over the, those herbs for 20 minutes. And when I was um, researching, um, I, I read a lot about it, uh, what women would do on while they were steaming. And what I found most comforting was meditating, talking to God, and reading. Reading and writing on the pot that's one thing that i enjoy is reading and writing on the pot usually i'm reading um affirmations and i'm writing what i could do to better myself and um what my day was like and um why i love myself and i actually have an affirmation book by this lady and um i was reading and writing from she had like a reading affirmation book and a writing affirmation book so i was doing both at the same time a couple of reasons why Yoni semen is like the freaking bomb. Uh, I have it here listed. And if you go on my Instagram, um, which is at Pink Botanicals on Instagram, I have 10 benefits, 10 reasons why you should Yoni steam. And one, it detoxifies the, young, the womb and the body of impurities, toxins, and more. And usually these are like scar tissues. Uh, like if you've had an STD before and you've got rid of the STD, it like cleans out that. Um, if you've had like a miscarriage, it it detoxifies like that, the impurities of that, toxins of like another man's Johnson being in you. You know, like the juices of somebody else being inside of you as well as, oh, as well as like if you've been through something traumatic as rape and um, it helps with coping with that like believe it or not i know like i'm speaking on like it being a healing a healing agent that it is but as well as like healing your heart like it, it does like it truly heals your heart but anyways some other things it's it tightens the va the vaginal canal so like mothers that's had um so like you just had a baby yoni steaming allows the vaginal canal to like open the cervix and then it closes it and tightens it tightens it back up it's great but i've never had a baby of course so i just know because i know women that did the yoni steam after they had a baby yada 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 um some women in haitian culture like that's what they do after having babies like that's what women in haitian, haitian culture believe in doing yoni steaming after having birth um, some other things is that it reduces swelling and healing scarring. So like I know a lot of women, if you're having rough sex, um, baby girl, you should first and foremost not be letting him beat you up like that. Because I mean, granted, if you like that, that's your business, but it's, some, it's not okay. It's not okay. And if that's the issue and you tend to have swelling after the fact, um, Yoni steaming, does really great with healing all of that and i'm gonna read off some of the different herbs that i use um the most staple herbs that i use and some of the benefits that they have and why i use them in different yummy seams and you'll understand why and i have them written down my notes okay so uh the first one is mugwort Okay, so mugwort is said to be derived from its name from having been used to flavor beer before the wide use of hops. I don't know. The botanical name is derived from Ar Arte Artemisia. It's a Greek goddess, the Greek goddess of the hunt and fertility in the forests and hills. Roman soldiers were known to put mugwort in their sandals to keep their feet from getting tired. So it's a very energetic herb and its goddess is Artemisia and she's known for hunt, fertility, and the forest and the hills. So let's see what it says here that I have written down as benefits. So it fights infection. So like to me as a hunter, the goddess 
is a fighter you know that's number one it fights through um it fights infections through antibiotic and antifungal properties it balances the ph and stimulates the production of hormones and uh, protects the uterus from ulcers and tumors it also eases cramps and stimulates the menstrual discharge in which your menstrual discharge should be clear usually during your cycles after you have your cycle you should have a clear discharge but so um mugwort i really like using it in a pretty much all of the uh blends that i have so another herb that i usually use is rose petals rose petals of course we're all familiar with rose petals they're pretty much everywhere i'm not gonna really wear, read where um rose petals derive from because like rose petals are everywhere so some of the benefits of rose petals are that it boosts the immune system and it is an anti-infective and anti-inflammatory antioxidant for uti prevention and treatment so if you have like a uti it can help clear it up and it also help prevents from having utis inflammation things of that nature so you know uh, like how I, was how I was discussing inflammation, uh, scarring, and swelling in the vagi vaginal canal. Rose petals can help ease that. Um, it also cleanses the blood and eases cramps. And when we say cleanse the blood, it is like when you have a cycle, ladies, when you have a cycle sometimes at the end of your cycle you have like brown blood yeah like and you i call it the aftermath i don't know what y'all call it but i call it the aftermath and usually the aftermath is um old blood and is it basically waited to come at this time at the end of this period so basically you have like old blood up in your vet your JJ. For, the, for a whole month until the, your next period comes on and that's why you have cramps and things of that nature. So it helps cleanses the blood and eases those cramps. And um, so one thing that I noticed with me this month is that the, the color in my, the blood went from, from at the end went from brown to like a pinkish reddish color, which is what it's supposed to be. So another herb that I usually use is chamomile. And if you're very familiar with chamomile, chamomile is a calming and soothing herb. So it helps with um, basically calming down the nerves and stimulates the blood flow in the vaginal canal and allows it to basically have a steady um, flow of blood through the vaginal canal, you know, so if you do have inflammation or swelling it also helps with um calming down the swelling and, and soothing the vaginal canal let's get into um some of the tools that i use ashe welcome to my floor guys so i'm gonna do a really quick tutorial on how you can yoni steam at home by yourself with no assistance so if you don't have the things that i have it's okay I will list the things that you can use at home that I'm sure that you do have, okay? Everybody got pots and pans, right? So, the first thing that you're going to need is the herbs, okay? So, this is the ultimate blend that I have here that I sell, and it's, it looks like a this. So, the next thing you'll need is a kettle. I use this kettle, uh, I got it from Target. I use it for my drinking tea and I also use it for my Yoni steam tea because usually what I do is um, I just boil my water in this and then I just pour the water into whatever. So I put a cup of water in here. I don't go over the first, the minimum line because you really don't need that much and then you're gonna need a mixing bowl. I use a mix, this mixing bowl. It's good that it's still because it's gonna be hot water that you're gonna be using, of course. You're also gonna be needing a blanket, okay? And this blanket is going to be going around your waist. You're gonna put water into the kettle, of course. 
then you're gonna put your herbs into your bowl. Once your kettle is poop, it pops, it's ready. You're gonna pour the water into the pot. Some water just really just fell in here, but it's okay. So it's probably hot as shit. Don't touch it like how I'm touching it. Of course not. So after you get your herbs into the pot, I just squat like this. I stick the bowl up under me like so, and I squat over it. I take a blanket and I wrap myself in the blanket. Okay. And this is how you yummy steam at home, ladies and gentlemen. So usually I'm like this about 20 to 25 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how I'm feeling, what um what my spirit is feeling like. You feel me? So it's really up to you on how long you're on the pot, but you should be on the pot no more, no less than 15 minutes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.